How are we doing, everybody? So, not too long ago, actually a while back ago now, I guess it's been about a, about a year or so, one of my most viewed videos was a Shaker Cup video. So I'm back making another Shaker Cup review type video. It basically is a review over this cup right here. Uh, this is the Omora One Shaker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down every little bit I can think of about it and how you would use it in every day as far as fitness or whatever you'd be using a Shaker Cup for. So here's the idea, guys. Uh... The last video I reviewed, I reviewed this one right here. And I'm going to do a different video uh, comparing the two together because I think I still really enjoy that cup and I really enjoy this cup, but I enjoy them for different, you know, using them for different things. So let's start off with the actual review of the cup. First off, the cup's really durable, uh, made of acrylic just like that cup is. It's clear, which I've mentioned before. If the cup's not clear, it's hard to read these, uh, you know, how full you need your water if you like to be precise with mixing stuff or if you like to track your water. A lot of people like doing that, tracking the water. If they're just going to use this for water, it's good to actually measure it out if that's your thing. The bottom of the cup has this little rubber gasket around it. Now, that does come out. I found that out the hard way because I actually lost it, but found it and put it back in there. So. You know, that helps the cup from, you know, sliding, getting knocked over, just sliding across the place. I found it actually, I mean, I know it's really small, but it's a really cool little detail they put in there that actually helps out. Now, the lid is kind of heavy, and as you can tell, it's deep up in the lid, the mouth part right there. It's really deep. So, that's like where the water or whatever you're mixing in here would come out. Now, the most, like, the most key feature to this cup and what everybody gets back to is this little thing right here. Now this is considered, this is the little ball, like if you had a blender bottle, this would be the little ball. The button up top, I don't know if you guys can see that or not real well, I think you can. So it's uh, a red button, you push the button and it ejects the ball. Now you keep all of your protein or BCAAs or whatever right up in there. Now that to me is an up and a downside. So if you're using BCAAs, it's great. I mean, it's going to keep your BCAAs up in there or pre-workout up in there and you can eject it right into the bottom, you know, right before you're ready to use it. Great, great idea, awesome. The only thing I see as far as like it being a downside is if you're mixing protein in there. I don't like mixing my protein with water. Some people do, some people have no problem with that, that's great. Uh, but then again, protein is still made of milk or dairy. Most of the time, whey is what it's mostly made of. I know there's others out there, but most, most typically that's what it's made of. So, I can, I can, and I haven't used any pre-workout or any uh, any protein in this, so I can't say for sure. But my thought is the fact that that thing goes so deep up inside there in both the mouth and that little piece, that it's going to be hard to clean the protein out of. And the fact that the little button comes down, you know, I can see protein getting stuck up in that whenever you shake it. And honestly, I don't want the cup to start smelling. Now, the fact that it's made out of acrylic keeps it from doing that. It does keep it from being so porous and smelling. You know, that's, that's great. That's kind of what I'm leading up to here. So, overall, this is probably the most well-known cup on YouTube. Everybody knows what a Numoro Shaker is. Uh, it's super popular. All the bigger YouTubers use it. A lot of them are actually sponsored by Numoro One, and for good reason. It's a really good cup. It's solid. The lid's heavy. Everything's made really well. The ball's actually heavy. Um, again, I don't see this thing busting up protein powder very well because it's not stationary. It's, you know, it'll move back and forth with the protein. But that was in my last video, so if you want to find out more about that and how I feel about that, go to that last video. I'll link it up in a card up here. But, you know, I just I don't feel like it'll bust up protein very well. But for BCAAs, for pre-workout, cup's amazing. If I want to just have water in it, cup's amazing. I love it. I love the fact that this is rubber, the bottom's rubber, the, just the overall appearance of the cup. You can tell it's really good quality. Another cool factor is this thing actually screws down into the, the the bottle so it's not gonna leak it's as well at all so that that's another really cool key factor the uh, thing here actually comes up out of there so you actually have a hole there to drink out of instead of something you know splashing you in the face which is you know sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad um, it's not gonna pop open on you if you're like moving uh, you know carrying a water bottle or mixer with you it's not gonna pop open on you because it's it's rubber and it goes in there fairly well, or silicone goes in there fairly well. So overall, guys, this is an excellent, excellent protein bottle or shaker bottle. So uh, 
you know, it's great. I think uh, I only paid I only paid twenty dollars for it because it, it just went on sale. They just made a third version of it or V three, their version three of it. The only thing I could tell as far as the version three goes, is the fact that they changed a little the way the measuring decal was. I didn't know any, notice any other differences about it. But if you guys have one and you know the differences, if you had both of them, leave in the comments below. Let us all know what the differences are. But excellent protein cup, guys. I would suggest getting one. That's the Omo or one shaker. And that's it, guys. That's the review. Make sure to like the video if you like the video. Comment down below. Any shaker you have, you might like, might not like. What you think about the Amora One, if you have one. Would you buy it at that price point? Whatever you can think of. Conversate about the shaker a little bit. And teach their own.